Hi beautiful people, welcome back to The Overwhelmed Woman. I'm Emma and if you are finding yourself in a bit of a spiral of spending debt and clutter, then you could be falling victim to something called the Diderot effect, which is something I first learned about 10 years ago when I started to try and understand the psychology of why people acquire clutter. And it goes right back to the 1700s when a French philosopher, Denis Diderot, recognised an increased pattern in buying things following the purchase of a new robe. Because rather than be satisfied with that, he started to actually look at all the other stuff around it that seemed a bit shabby in contrast and and feel dissatisfied and he recognised that the introduction of one item generally um, invariably uh, creates the purchase of lots of other items so for example that behaviour continues today you may have bought a sofa and then thought my, my cushions are a bit shabby my curtains look old I might need a new throw to go with it and before you know it, you've overhauled your living room and bought stuff you may not be able to afford and didn't actually necessarily need um, and advertising companies play on this massively because they know that our first response as humans is an emotional one followed by the rational thought that goes no I don't need it I can't afford it it'll have to wait so when they tell you that buying that amazing suit will make you feel invincible and buying the latest gadgets will bring you joy and success in your life you start to believe it but as we all know when you strip all the stuff away the only thing that matters when you get to the end of this life is your mental health your physical health how you conducted yourself and the memories that you leave behind for the loved ones that you leave so don't feel under pressure to buy stuff if there's a reason there could be lots of reasons why you do buy and buy and buy and never really feel happy but that's a whole different ball game and a video for another time but on a very basic level help yourself right now try to identify what those trigger habits are unsubscribe from emails that promise you all these deals throw glossy catalogues in the bin as soon as they come through the door and have a shopping list and stick to it and whatever you do especially if money's tight and you've been impacted by covid this year as we all have um don't go down the route of going do you know what we've had a crap year we're all depressed soddy i can't really afford it but let's shove it on a credit card and wait and sort it out next year because you might be living with the ramifications of that decision for a long time to come and look i say this out of um empathy not judgment because i have spent 20 years leading a very physically and emotionally cluttered life for lots of reasons and trying to get myself out of thousands and thousands of pounds worth of debt and stuff will never make you happy and honestly the less stuff i have hand on my heart the happier and more content i am with my life and able to control it to some degree in a way that I could never do it before by having a load of clutter and stress so until next time if you're overwhelmed you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together and uh, poke me and subscribe me and whatever it is they do and um, now I'm going to have a cup of tea massive love to you as always